Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of Get Plugins. Today I'm going to show you how to convert Variation Select drop-down into color, image and button swatches. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. To convert variations into swatches, first you need to create product attributes and their variations globally. From the left sidebar, navigate to attributes from products. Now you are on the global attribute page. From here you can create any number of attributes you want. I'll create a total of 4 attributes. To create your desired product attribute, give your desired name here. For demonstration purposes, I have given the first attribute name, color. After specifying your desired attribute name, you can leave slug, enable archives and default sort order as it is, because all these are optional. Save it by clicking on the add attribute button. You'll notice a new color attribute is already created. Now I am going to add 3 more attributes. I have given the second attribute name made in. Save it by clicking on the add attribute button. I have given the third attribute name pattern. Save it by clicking on the add attribute button. I have given the last attribute name size and again save it by clicking on the add attribute button. So you can notice all of my attributes are created. So it's time to create variations for the attributes. First I'll create variations for color attribute. From color attribute click on configure terms to navigate the variation list page. In this page you can add as many numbers of variations as you want. I will add red and blue variations for my color attribute. First, I will fill the name field as red and click on add new color button. Now I will fill the name field with blue and again click on add new color button. So now color attribute variations are created. Go back to the attribute list page. Now from made in attribute click on configure terms I will create UK and USA variations for made in attribute first I will fill the name field as USA and click on add new made in button now I will fill the name field with UK and again click on add new made in button you can notice made in attribute variations are created Again go back to the attribute list page. From pattern attribute click on configure terms. Now I will create pant and shirt variations for pattern attribute. First I will fill the name field as pant and click on add new pattern button. Now I will fill the name field as shirt and again click on add new pattern button. So now pattern attributes variations are also created. Again go back to the attribute list page. From size attribute click on configure terms. Now I will create L and M variations for the size attribute. First I will fill the name field as L and click on add new size button. Now I will fill the name field as M and again click on add new size button. So you can notice size attribute variations are also created. Now it's time to link the newly created attribute with the product. To create a variable product, navigate to add new from products. Fill the product name field with your desired title and add some description as well. Select variable product from product data drop down. From attributes select the newly created attributes and add them one by one. First I will select the newly created global color attribute and click on add button. Then I will select the made in attribute 
and click on add button. Now I will select the pattern attribute and again click on the add button. Finally, I will select the size attribute and click on the add button again. Now click on the select all button for all the attributes and all the variations of these attributes will be selected. Now give a check mark on used for variations for all the attributes to tell WooCommerce it's for your variations. Finally click on the save attributes button. Now click on variations. Add variation will add each variation one by one. But create variations from all attributes will allow WooCommerce to create every possible combination of variations. That means it will create a new variation for each and every possible combination of variations of the attributes. For now I'll go for add variation and add some variations according to my desire. I have created a total of three variations. My first variation is blue. UK Pant L Second variation is Red USA Shirt M And third variation is Blue UK Shirt M Now click on expand to show the settings of all the variations Price is the mandatory field for each variation, but others are optional. So make sure price is set in all the variations, otherwise variation will not show up on the product frontend. Now add featured images by clicking on this image placeholder for each variation. It will appear after the selection of corresponding variations in the product frontend. I'll add featured images for all the variations one by one. To save the settings, click on the Save Changes button. Now you need to set a product image by clicking here. This image will appear when no variation is selected. Once you finish doing all these things, click on the Publish button. Now click on this link to go to the product frontend. So our variable product has successfully been published. Try to select a variation of a product and change the variation. I will select the first variation that I created previously. And that was blue UK Pant L. Now I am choosing the second variation that was red USA Shirt M. You will notice each time variation price and image are also changing with it. The variation selection drop down requires some extra click for the visitor to check the available variation of a product. To solve this hassle, you can turn the variation selection drop down into button. To do so, go to the product backend and navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for variation such as for OCommerce by Imran Ahmed and install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. Now the free version of your plugin is activated. Go back to the product frontend and refresh the page. So you can notice variation selection drop downs are converted into buttons. Now I will convert the buttons of color and pattern attributes variations into color and image swatches. To do so, go to the product backend and navigate to attributes from products. You can see type is not selected for any of the attributes. So we need to define the type for each attribute. First I will define the type of color attribute. Now for color attribute click on edit. For color attribute, select color type and update the attribute. Now for made in attribute, click on edit. For made in attribute, select button type and update the attribute. Finally for the pattern attribute, click on edit. 
for pattern attribute select image type and click on update button. I didn't select any type for size attribute it's because of a specific setting which I'll show you later on. Now go to the product front end. You can see the changes in color and pattern attributes. But still it's not showing in color and image. It's because I have only defined the attribute type but I didn't set any color and image for the variations. So for these two attribute variations we need to set the colors and images. So go to the attribute list page. Click on configure terms for color attribute. Click on edit for blue variation. Select blue color from the color picker and update the variation. Go back to the variations page and click on edit for red variation. Select red color from the color picker and update the variation. Go back to the variation list page. So the colors of the variations are set. Now go to the product front end to see the changes. Now you can see the variations of color attribute are successfully showing their identical colors. Now I'll set the image for pattern attributes variations. So go to the attribute list page. Click on configure terms for pattern attribute. First I'll set the image for pant variation. So click on edit for pant variation. Click on upload or add image button and choose your desired image. Finally update the variation. Go back to the variation list page. Click on edit for shard variation. Click on upload or add image button and choose your desired image. Finally update the variation. Go back to the variation list page. So images for pattern attributes variations are successfully defined. Again go to the product front end. You can see the variations of pattern attribute are successfully showing their images. So the variation selection drop down are finally converted into color, button and image swatches. Now it's time to learn some unknown but very useful settings of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin. To do this, go to the product backend and navigate to swatches to see the settings of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin. First, I'll show you the simple settings. Here you can see the option shape style. On the product front end, you can notice these shapes are in square format. From the simple settings, if you select round shaped and click on the save changes button you'll notice on the product front end shape styles are converted into round one from the squared one here is another setting if you uncheck the option convert default drop downs to button type and save the changes then you will notice a change in size attribute in the product page previously type was not defined for size attribute so for unchecking this option, variations of size attribute are converted into drop downs from buttons. Now I'll show you the advanced settings. Currently in the product page you can see attribute names are above the variations. But if you uncheck the option show selected attribute variation name beside the title and click on save changes button, then attribute names will stand beside the variations. If you want to manually make any product out of stock, then it's also possible. To do this, go to the product backend and navigate to variations. Select out of stock from stock status. Let's assume I want to make blue UK pant L and blue UK shirt M both the variations out of stock. Now click on save changes to save the settings. To see the result of out of stock products in the product front end, you need to go to the WooCommerce settings. Click on products and then inventory. Give a check mark on the option hide out of stock items from the catalog and click on the save changes button. As previously I made these two variations out of stock, so on the product page out of stock items are showing in blur with cross mode. 
you can also change the type of displaying out of stock items. To do so, go back to the product backend and navigate to swatches. From attribute behavior, select blur without cross and save the changes. Go to the product frontend. So you can see the changes. For selecting blur without cross, out of stock items are not showing the cross sign anymore. It's only become blur. Now select the hide option from attribute behavior and save the changes. Go to the product frontend to see the change. So for selecting the hide option, out of stock items are disappeared from the product page. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.